Patrick Barbie has been a chicken farmer for many years now. He has, however, fought a constant battle against disease in his small flock, which takes a bite out of his earnings. Vaccines are hard to get and often go bad before they can be administered, leaving him to rely on more basic remedies. We were using herbs from the bush and sometimes ash or soot mixed with water and red pepper and we would give it to the hens to drink but it was not effective and chicken would die. But Bobby's worries could soon be over. Scientists are producing vaccines with a longer shelf life that could save Bobby's farm and many others. In a laboratory, a virus is introduced into clean eggs. The eggs are then allowed to incubate for four days under cold temperatures, then cut open. The liquid scooped out is frozen, ready for use. Scientists say the Cucustar vaccine against diseases like Newcastle infection can survive long hours without refrigeration. The vaccine that we produce, we produce it when it is a freeze-dried tablet, and this tablet has the capacity to stay in the fridge for two to eight degrees and outside the fridge for up to a month. When we add water to it so as to administer it, it is able to withstand its time outside the fridge for up to three days and it will still be effective and potent. In contrast, most vaccines on the market have a short shelf life unless they are kept cold. And many poultry farmers in rural Africa do not have electricity in their homes. Poultry farmers are required to administer just a drop of the vaccine into the chicken's eye. The scientists behind this discovery say if used well, it's expected to keep the chickens free from disease. The researchers say the Cucustar vaccine boosts the size of a flock and increases productivity, all of which helps a farmer's bottom line. BrainTech Investments developed this vaccine with an initiative to help our rural farmers or rural Africa out of poverty, considering that a chicken needs little attention, especially in terms of feeding area, maintenance and sleeping area. So with this vaccine, we expect that this rural Africa will be able to attain uh, a level or out of poverty. A nationwide education exercise has started to teach the farmers how to use the vaccines. The training has begun with backyard farmers like Babi and over time it will include commercial operations. The target now is to produce over 56 million doses of the vaccine annually to supply the Ugandan market. Isabel Nakiria, CCTV, Ginger, Eastern Uganda.